did I get my answers? What is going on guys? So welcome to YouTube and chat. Well now no one can be the future right? But love as well. And today we're gonna have some answers. The best thing in life is to have answers. Doubt kills you, man. Like doubt like what if what if? No man, I want answers. So today I'm gonna get some answers with this car. Ever since I decided to keep it a little longer and I do the beta so fast, this misalignment has been bugging me. I recently discovered that the radiator support was broken. So I attributed every little thing that's wrong with this car to that radiator support because I didn't know where else was it broken and if it was broken. Now to be 100% honest, I'm not gonna do a how-to or how to change a radiator support. The main reason is because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I am not a pro at this. I didn't even look at the manual to be 100% honest. I just went to the junkyard, I saw a G, and I took off every bolt that I saw and I took off the radiator support. My best advice is record everything before you take off every bolt. So without further ado, let's get this business in the ray. Okay, this is, this is what I want to know. Why this side is perfectly aligned here? See how it goes? Very nice. And this one is like out of it. Why is this out of it here? And so misaligned here. Okay, so the radiator is off. I wanted to inspect this beam right here to see if it has any any really bad twists and turns, but it does not. I have everything on the floor here. <laughs> but uh, it will be going back. The radiator's dangling here. Hmm. This one is what I wanted to inspect too. It doesn't look like it has any bends or nothing. So that's great. That's awesome. It has a lot of rust, but that can be repaired. Wish I had my stuff. Look at all that rust, man. New Jersey, come on. If you marry a man, I know this was a New Jersey G. That's why I had so many rusts. Just checking everything over and over. But yeah, the beams are good. Everything is good. Can you tell which one is the old one and which one is the new one? Can you tell? No? Well, that is the new one. This is the old one. <laughs> I thought I would see more damage, but I don't, which is great for me and the Vader project, but this is the only then damage that it had. So hopefully by getting the new one that doesn't have that defect, the lights sit better and everything aligns way better. And as you can see, we have a few broken lug nuts. We have one, two, 
and three right here. I think it's another one. I think that was for this thing right here, not that one. Right here, four. <laughs> I was surprised. I, I honestly thought it was gonna be more. So I took some extra bolts. That is right here. That's it's from the other G. So I will be using these bolts to replace the broken ones. So no worries on that. Well, I guess you remember now. And it's too good to be true. And I try, and I try to deny. But the love that I felt. Okay, so the battery died, of course. I was working on it, so I didn't want to stop. But basically, everything is on. The new radiator is on completely. Now, let's see how everything fits and aligns. Now, I did notice that this fender was pushed in a little bit too forward. And that's why I have the bolts loose. I was playing around with the alignment of the radiator support. I hope I got it right. So now I'm gonna put everything back and see how everything fits. Well, I'm a sinner. Okay, so it is put back together. It took me about an hour and a half, and I'm a noob at this. So if you're a pro, you definitely do it like in 40 minutes. But did I get my answers? Yes, I did. Some things is like, wow, I can see where the problem was. But then on some of the things it's like, uh, I didn't really fix it. So here it is, there she is. In all her glory. The alignment is way much better. As you can see that, it's like very straight. Here is more straighter. It's not like a little bit, you know, cockeyed or whatever. And this here is like super tight and real good. It looks like OEM. But here, it fixed it a little bit. It's like more 
this way, but it's still coming out like this. I don't understand why. But now I know that the radio support is completely fine and good. So it is something else that's causing that. If you guys have any clue as to what's causing that, uh, please let me know so I don't go crazy. I don't waste my time doing tests and tests and tests and tests and tests. Test. But yeah, I like it. I'm actually glad I did it. Because one, I learned how to do it properly. And it's not hard at all. It's just a lot of bolt and stuff to put back. But yeah, and the other one is right there. And that one's going to the Blue Smurf. And so if you like this type of content, please give me a like on this video. And if you like that baby, that uh, spider bill right there, also please give me a like on this video. Listen guys, God bless. Zip it up. Peace.